are going to conduct the experiment that is specific charge of an electron what is specific charge specific charge is charge of electron by mass of electron that means charge by mass ratio so the unit of the specific charge will be coulomb per kg coulomb per kg okay so how to calculate e by m or specific charge so we are going to use here a electron gun that is attached in a socket and there is a circular tube and the whole setup has been placed inside a circular helmholtz coil to create the magnetic path this is our experimental apparatus okay so now there is voltage detector as well as current measurement okay so we are going to fix the current at 1 ampere and the voltage will be accelerated due to that electrons will be released from the cathode and they are going to collide with the helium gas that is filled with this tube the helium gas molecules will be collided with electrons and we are going to see the charge release or energy release in the form of circular ring since the helmholtz coil path is circular magnetic path is circular so the ring the ring formed in a circular way okay so next to find e by m we need to find out the diameter of this circular ring now if we change the voltage if we decrease the voltage the diameter of the ring will be decreased we can see why performing the experiment what will be the working formula of e by m now if you suppose a electron is moving with velocity v in a homogeneous magnetic field the magnetic field is supposed to be so it is bound to experience the lorentz force okay so now how to find that force the so the lorentz force is equals to e dot v cross b next if you are considering if we consider the newton's force the newton's law of force so what do we know f equals to m v square by r when r is the radius radius of the orbit okay so next if we equate these two equations equation number 1 and equation number 2 we are going to get the e by m formula what is the working formula the working formula of e by m equals to 8 v by d square capital b square now nothing is unknown here b is the homogeneous magnetic field strength we have to find out the b b has a working formula as well b is the diameter is the voltage okay so we can easily find out the charge by mass ratio so this is the apparatus working apparatus as i have told you next you have to turn on the switch of the apparatus and you have to turn on the apparatus power so switch on the power next you can check the voltage knob voltage control knob and current control knob current i told you it will be fixed at 1 ampere and voltage will be accelerated in decreasing mode from 200 to 100 so at first we have to increase the voltage and wait for 5 to 6 minutes so the ring appears now see more closely the apparatus you can see the ring it is greenish in color 
we have to check the diameter. How to check the diameter? We can see there is a scale attached. Okay. And there is a eyepiece as well. Okay. So, we have to check the eyepiece through our eyes that the diameter measurement that means left side edge as well as right side edge. We need to take reading from the scale. Suppose left side edge is 4 cm and right side edge is at 13 cm. So the diameter will be 13 minus 4 cm that is 9 cm. This way we are going to take further readings. Now while we are taking readings, first reading done, we need to decrease the voltage from 200 to 180 then 160 this way we are going to decrease the voltage and we are going to take several readings after taking the reading from the apparatus the table is complete so we have data for di diameter and we have data for V versus diameter. Next what we have to do, we have to plot a full scale graph. A graph will be plotted voltage along X axis and diameter square along Y axis. And then we need to calculate the specific charge that is E by M. The magnetic field strength capital B is denoted by 4 by 5 to the power 3 by 2 into mu naught capital N I divided by capital R. Now what is mu naught? Mu naught is permeability of free space. That value is given. What is capital N? Capital N is number of turns of Helmholtz coil. That is 160. Capital N equals 160. I, I is fixed, current is fixed, that is 1. And capital R is radius of Helmholtz coil, that is 0 0.14 meter. So now you can easily calculate capital B and then you can calculate E by M. 8 V by D square B square. So B is the magnetic field strain, you can calculate. V by D square will be the slope of the graph. And so, E by M will be calculated easily. Here you can see that this is the working formula of E by M. E by M equals to 8 V by D square B square. So, we are putting the values and we are getting 1.81 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg. So, actual value is, standard value is 1.78 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg. So, we have error. The error percentage is 1.6%. So that's all for today's experiment.